but there's many types of flashlights out there and uh, I carry or I like to carry quite a few just in case I was flying last night and couldn't find my uh, my favorite flashlight but I had a few backups and I got through it was fine we got it everything was good to go but kind of made me think this morning you know I, I think I'm going to uh, order another flashlight so I've got <clears throat> a few different types of flashlights that I like to carry with me of course my main torch so uh, a very bright LED flashlight I like to carry for inspections if I need to uh, do a walk around around the aircraft and check things out and I'm not really worried about that night blindness thing right so when uh, you get hit with that white light it takes a period of time um, in the books it says up to about 30 minutes or so before the before you regain your night vision um, sometimes you know that of course differs uh, for each person but at minimum it's uh, it's probably somewhere around that so what we do to combat it is we either fly with red lights uh, if we want to uh, look at something and illuminate it in the cabin of the airplane or we go with green lights now the one thing that I've noticed with green lights is for me personally um, I enjoy the green light better than the red light. Uh, it seems a lot less harsh and I'm able to see things a little bit more clearly and it really doesn't affect my night vision whatsoever. And I think that's why um, some pilots, <clears throat> especially military pilots, like to fly with green lights. Also, if you notice, a lot of the electronics in aircraft, especially uh, commercial aircraft and military aircraft are green. Uh, my thought behind that personally is it reduces that night blindness. Um, also with uh, night vision, you have that green hue a lot of times. So anyway, long story short, I carry three lights. My brightest, of course, is going to be my regular white light. And for flying, um, I carry the red as a backup. Um, and then I usually you don't go for that green light. The only bad thing about the green lights, though, is that from what I've noticed online and from pilot stores and whatnot, the green lights are most expensive and I don't know why that is because an LED is pretty much an LED wherever you go. The cost has gone down significantly uh, because everybody's using the LEDs now. So a way that I've worked around this is I've uh, started making my own. Um, and it's really simple and believe it or not, the least expensive flashlights, the ones you get from Walmart or uh, really, I don't know, the dollar store. Uh, these guys, uh, sometimes I think I found them on Amazon, you know, a big Amazon person comes straight to your house and that type of jazz, but um, you can get packs of these, right? And if you lose them, I mean, if you go to Walmart or whatever, or get the packs, they come to about a dollar a piece. They run on three AA batteries. And the reason the least expensive ones, um, uh, the reason you would want these to convert over is number one, you're not spending uh, a lot. And number two, the actual way that they're made, and I'll show you this one here, is super cheap. Uh, so this is a retainer here um, that just kind of goes around and locks it in. That also makes a connection. So you would twist that, that pops out. Then comes the spring and then comes the little part here uh, that held that holds the LED and I'm not sure if I can get that on camera but it really doesn't matter because all you're doing with these is you are taking the old LEDs out the the bright white lights um, and then you are resoldering green LEDs and these are high intensity green LEDs. Um, it's it's so nice because you're able to pop on to Amazon or eBay and get a package of a bajillion of these things for like nothing. I can make flashlights all day long on one pack and I think literally it cost me less than a dollar for all of these. Um, some will like the high intensity lights and then others will like the more dim lights, um, again, to kind of help with that, uh, that night blindness thing, right? 
Um, some people might not want that super high intensity. So the way you do it is you solder those in, you put your retaining key or lock or I don't know what this thing's called. This little uh, metal piece here, that's what makes contact uh, with the batteries. All right, so put that in, then put the spring in there. Then put the little lucky thingy. There we go. I'm just going to leave it floating. I don't care. And then put this in here. There we go. And you can see, let me turn out the light here, that this will give, and this is actually the, the room I'm in is lit up, but this will give you a very nice bright, not overpowering, but bright glow. This will definitely light up anything in your aircraft that you would want for sure. And let me, here it comes. Yeah, uh, I was hoping that it would auto correct, but it's got the multiple LEDs in there. It's, uh, I guess, too bright for that, but let me turn this back on. Once you do one, right, it's super easy to convert really anything. So anything that has an LED in it, you can just replace because you have the LEDs. Um, a lot of times you don't even have to use solder for these things. You can use the existing solder. It's just that simple, the solder that's already on the contacts. This is a headlamp, very inexpensive. Again, I think this is from Walmart. I, I have no idea. They're super cheap, right? All right, so check this out. Boom. Replaced the... Um, white LED that was in here. It's just a singular LED with uh, one of these guys. So now I can strap that on my head and wherever I look, I can see what's going on. And it'll illuminate my, my way. Um, and like I said, just about any flashlight that's got LEDs on it, you can do this too. This one is one of those flashlights that have the big magnet at the end that have the LEDs in the center. So what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to unscrew the cap and all these flashlights are made pretty much exactly the same, right? So you unscrew the top here and then you'll have a retaining um, piece of metal um, right there. In this flashlight I pulled out this one. This is the retaining uh, piece of metal in there and all that does most of the time is um, make contact. So that would be uh, in sometimes your negative contact and or um, it just holds the uh, circuit board in place. You see how that kind of just flops around? So in this one, I would uh, take that retaining uh, clip out and then literally I'm just desoldering those lights there and then putting in the LED lights. All right, so all you do is pull this clip out Let's do another flashlight. And this is pretty much the exact same way you would do to, I would say, well, so far all of them that I've done. And again, the cheaper the better, because it's easier to disassemble. Uh, you take this little uh, reflector thing off, and then you're literally left with the circuit board, the LEDs, and in this case, You've got the uh, the positive, or the positive rather is the red, and then the negative um, connection is uh, the black. So what you would do, as you can see, you got about a bajillion of these little guys. Um, I, I swap out LEDs all the time, so the little ones, oddly enough, are the most powerful out of all of these, and these are the green ones. And when you solder these in, you want to take a look at the way that the ends uh, are oriented. So the long end is going to be your positive, the short end is going to be your negative. And then on here, you need to figure out what is positive and what is negative. So look at your positive, the red is positive here. All of these connections are going to be side by side, so this is an LED, that's an LED, so on, so forth. Total of a bajillion LEDs in here. So, um, match up 
red with positive. So on the underside, I'm going to stick it up here. I'm going to make sure that my positive is on the positive uh, plane or pad. And then my negative is going to be right next to it. So it'll pick up that negative contact. So let me get the soldering iron started and we will uh, do a couple. All right, so I've got the soldering iron started. If you don't have a soldering iron, um, you should probably get one because you can save a ton of money if you learn the very simple art of soldering. And uh, I solder all the time, so I went ahead and got uh, a really nice base station, but Honestly, if you're just doing this, you can get a uh, go to Harbor Freight or something to that effect um, and get a soldering iron for a few bucks. Literally, all you're doing is um, uh, desoldering and resoldering LEDs in this case. But it doesn't take anything special. All you do is basically reach on the other side, get these contacts nice and warm. And I don't even use desoldering tape or anything like that because they keep them very, them being the uh, contacts very short. And they don't put a lot of solder on these either, so it works out great. On this flashlight, it's interesting because they've soldered the positive lead directly on the positive pad here. Um, so it's super easy. Uh, even if you screw up, it'll still work because you're just changing the polarities there. You can make it however you want. But the, the thing is, is just to keep it easy, just make sure you remember where things are. So on this one, the positive lead is connected to the inside rail there. So all I'm going to do is desolder that. That was super simple, right? And then take your time. Go back and forth since we're not using any soldering tape and then it'll just pluck off if you want to save these guys by all means um, you know if you want to convert this back or if you want to put it in something else you can do that so I'm not gonna bore you with doing this over and over again so I'm gonna stop for a second okay so as you can see I soldered the rest of the LEDs in um, I use snips, but honestly, you could just move them back and forth and break the legs off of them. Um, and that's pretty much it. You'll notice that uh, the LEDs that I'm using are smaller than the ones that came off of the flashlight. But they're actually brighter. It's crazy. Um, wait. Oh, there we go. Turn the flashlight off there. So what I'm going to do is... Put this little reflector back on and get this back in here ever so slightly there we go try my best to put this little retraining ring back on there helps if you have one of these guys all right well that was interesting but we got it um and you can see it didn't really take that long and since they're wires that are going to be spun I'm going to spin it in the other direction real quick so when I spin it back it won't break those wires hopefully and then there we go so on this flashlight you have the red LEDs that uh, well light up then you have the bright white LEDs if I wanted to do something like that or if I want to replace those which I'll be honest with you, I'll never do. And then, da da, the big bright green lights. I'll turn this off. It doesn't really do it justice, but this is, this should pretty much light up anything that I point at. And it will definitely not cause me uh, night blindness. It's absolutely amazing. So, I mean, even if I wanted to, I could probably check out my entire plane, do the walk around, make sure it's good, and then even if I wanted to, I could just throw this in the cabin in the back seat and then use this if I wanted. Or this guy right here. Or when I finish the conversion on that, have this. And if I want to be super nifty, 
I can use my headlamp and wherever I look will show that green LED Ta -da! and literally this was I honestly think it was 50 cents I think it came in a pack of two um, even came with the batteries this I know I got from Walmart. I think it was one or two for a dollar. Uh, like I said, you can go online and get the packs. Like literally, you get like a twenty pack or a ten pack. Um, and then this has been sitting outside for the past like six months on my back porch, and it still works just fine. Um, and it's got that magnet. Woo! That likes to pick up the little pieces. Um, so. Might keep this in my truck. I don't know. But literally, if you bought something like this uh, on Amazon or whatnot and had the green LEDs, it's $20, $30, $40, $50. I mean, some of the higher priced ones are just like crazy expensive. Um, so just a few minutes, you can literally do all this on your own. So hopefully this helps you out. Uh, I will put a few links on the bottom if you need some LEDs or if you need, um, I think literally you can get like 10 packs or something like that. Convert all of them, throw them in all your vehicles and in the plane and whatever. All right, guys, I appreciate it. Stay safe out there and hopefully this will help it uh, with you staying safe. And I will see you next time.